Today we have new Halo Infinite concept art, news about Halo 1, 2, Anniversary, and even 3 running on Steam PC already, and when to expect those releases, technical issues about Reach on PC, and the ban hammer going out. Lots and lots of stuff to talk about today, guys. Let's jump into it. This video is supported by Audible. Snag yourself a free Halo audiobook right down in the description below. Without needing to be said, Halo Reach launching on PC was a massive success, and in my opinion, is the true return of Halo, not like it was supposed to be back in 2014. But without missing a beat, 343 is already working on Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary and even Halo 2 Anniversary on PC, which I'll talk more about in a second. So both Theater and Forge are both technically already accessible in the files on Reach on PC, but not officially. So that actually requires some tinkering with the hex coding, which I talked about Forge, I'll probably talk about Theater soon. But 343 is working on the official release for 2020 sometime, and that supports mouse and keyboard and of course as I suspected they're including keyboard shortcut keys and likely special forge options like Halo 5c version that had very specific and intuitive tools built just for the keyboard so we can probably see that in Reach's Forge when it does officially come out and hopefully they add an official undo and redo button for Reach's Forge as well. Although the game's launch has been mostly a success there's been also some technical issues of course and 3 for 3 is trying to deal with them and on the other hand they are bringing out the ban hammer and bringing out ban. So the biggest technical issues is audio issues, stuttering, menu performance, all of which 3 for 3 doesn't actually quite know, at least as the time of uh, this recording in this post, that 3 for 3 doesn't quite know what it is and they're investigating on how to fix these bugs. And there's also co-op latency, mouse input lag, which the reason for that could be many different things, and also the infamous crouch while moving thing that they need to iron out. One particular bug that has irked me myself is being kicked out when idle, which just means you're not touching your controller while you're searching for a game. So yeah, that's pretty annoying. But anywho, moving forward, 3 for 3 is in the pre-alpha phase on Halo CEA and working on getting as many as the same features and options seen as in Reach, also in Halo Combat Evolved, which includes, of course, mouse and keyboard support and FOV support, aspect ratio, a 3D model with live color adjustments for color customization, probably will be running in Unreal 4 as well, but may also be added armor customization which I wonder how that's going to look at least in the classic multiplayer so very interesting to think about also they're talking about doing HUD up resolution so making the you know the quality of it just look better and VFR support input latency reduction and PC optimization and lastly they say something very exciting is that they are looking good for flights to begin in January so that's pretty soon so as well as with Halo 1, they are also already making great strides on Halo 2 Anniversary. It's already functioning on PC. They even gave us a screenshot. So the team is working on making sure that the mouse and keyboard control and support is really ironed out, as well as FOV, aspect ratio, and VFR support. And they even teased us with a screenshot for Halo 3 running on Steam. So this looks like it's already functioning just as it should. Of course, it needs lots of polishing, so we're probably going to have to wait quite some time. And since they're going to have to release Halo 1 and 2 before Halo 3 comes out, we're probably still maybe uh, as far as summer or maybe even fall from getting Halo 3, but that's fine because with how good Reach launch, I can't wait for, you know, such a solid launch with Halo 1 and 2. I mean, Halo is really back, guys. But anyway, it seems like the biggest challenges are out of the way, and this is great because as they explained a while back, most of the foundational work was done and completed with Reach. So, you know, Reach will probably be the longest game to release. I don't think we're going to have to wait until fall for Halo 1. I think in the extreme situation, we might have to wait until Halo 2 or Halo 3, but that still isn't that bad considering these are really iconic games and we're getting it on PC for a pretty fair price. There's also this really badass picture from Jeremy Cook, the previous publishing team art director at 343. A 4K download is included in the post, linked down in the description if you want to put that down as your wallpaper. So as I talked about earlier, 343 has taken out the ban hammer. They have started banning people and it took them about only a week. Now one of the first things that they uh, mention is that you, if you, you know, AFK or, or do macros, I'm not quite sure what that is. That is a bannable offense. Another one is coordinated XP boosting. So like farming, 
and maybe firefight in a way that, you know, screws with the system too much. But yeah, so this is a bannable offense. Also, if you do anything that's unsociable or unsportsmanlike, such as uh, bullying, hate speech, or intimidation, or one that I actually found kind of interesting and funny was uh, betraying against players who joined a match and did not want to participate in the XP boosting activity. And another one is firefight suicide. So if you intentionally are killing yourself in firefight in an effort to uh, exploit XP gain, that is a bannable offense as well. So we haven't really talked about Halo Infinite for a while, I think maybe a good month or two, but on a separate and recent Waypoint post, they talked about Halo Infinite and the future of Halo a little bit more and recapped a few things that we already know. So 2020 is going to be a big year for Halo, guys, because we have not only the Halo MCC games releasing throughout the year, but also we have Halo Infinite dropping at the end of the year, and that is super exciting. So the release date is for holiday 2020 on the Xbox Series X formerly known as Project Scarlet, which I haven't really talked about much, but yeah, the new Xbox was announced. And the game is also releasing on Windows PC, as well as the current gen Xbox One. Now, the game is in fact after Halo 5. It takes place after Halo 5, so it's basically Halo 6. And as far as the beta is concerned, they're going to do a series of flights, which will start small and slowly expand out in the Halo Insider program. So make sure you sign up for that because you might actually get up on Halo Infinite fairly soon before everyone else, like in summer. But hopefully they will push these flights at the end to be public for the masses to play, to really do a test strain on the multiplayer. Because, because I think everyone should at least have one chance to play the game early in a beta form. I don't care what promotions they have to do, like buying Halo MCC in order to play Halo Infinite. I also hope that these flights are on PC as well. And also they have an internal pro team helping the competitive design of the gameplay, which we learned about quite some time ago. Halo Infinite also has split screen up and running internally in that the game will support LAN, black undersuits are making a return, and the armor customization will be similar to Reach's. Also, Forge for the first time ever will have undo and redo buttons, thank god. <laughs> and there's also some new concept art that was handed out, which isn't really anything we haven't seen before. I mean, here is Zeta installation, it's partly destroyed, but, but one thing did catch my eye was the lights present on the nighttime parts of the ring. This is really interesting because from what I've seen, from what I remember, there's really no other rings in Halo uh, cinematics or concept art that have these lights here. And they look kind of scattered and they look yellowish. They don't look blue. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I really think that this could be you know, intelligent life. It's not just parts of the ring lit up. It's, um, you know, it's very curious. Let me know what you guys think about this. Very interesting. And we also have another concept art image that just slipped out. Again, it's nothing we really haven't seen before, but, and it looks very similar to the concept art that we got with the big splash of Halo Infinite News this year at E3. But yeah, Master Chief is walking up to an orb, Likely, maybe Cortana connected to, um, maybe this is how Cortana is talking to Chief now because she's not really in chip form anymore. But yeah, um, certainly curious. Let me know what you guys think about this image as well. Bonnie Ross also teased that Halo Infinite is being pushed to new heights as far as development goes, and they're gearing up for a huge 2020, which sounds about right. There's likely a whole new Waypoint post coming up for the end of December, which will probably go out just like right after I post this video. But I decided that I should get this news out anyway. Even though it's late, I still think I should recap this stuff for you guys. By the way, Merry freaking Christmas, folks. I hope you've had a wonderful wonderful Christmas. I wasn't really active during the holiday uh, season part there, but I uh, hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well. I'm thinking about you, and I hope you're enjoying Halo Reach's port to PC and or the Xbox One. I'm very thrilled to covering Halo Infinite and Halo MCC PC in 2020, and also probably the Halo TV show that has just been infamously caught up in development hell, but might actually come out and finally might get pushed through the pipeline as we've heard, you know, people have actually been casted. They've actually started, I think, filming now, although I, I don't even know if that's true or not. But guys, join me on this amazing Halo journey throughout 2020. I can't wait to share all the news with you guys and talk about Halo and have fun epic theories about the Flood and Cortana and what's going to happen in the next big chapter, as well as what's happening in the IRL chapter of Halo. Halo is back and it's making a very, very aggressive return. It it is hungry to come back. It is king. It is becoming king anyway. So guys and gals, I will see you soon. You take care. Peace.